Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. I finally made it to the last stage of the new story chapter. <laughs> I, just, I actually took my time uh, clearing this because I didn't think it was so much uh, so big of a deal since you can you can cope the chaos. Uh, I didn't think you need to showcase it sort of speak since it can be done with your friends, with three summons. But uh, well, I decided to do a showcase for Galuf, since I max him out. And we're not we're gonna skip using the likes of Arenea, Vane, uh, my own Leo, um, Zack, yeah, any 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 OP character in the game right now. Oh. I'm not, I am going to use Penelo because she's my best support. But I am kind of handicapping myself with using On Your Knight. Because I think he's, this, this unit is really falling off fast, in my opinion. So let's see how it goes. I know the last boss has a lot of attacks. And that's why people... I uh, really prefer delaying him to death. Uh, with Galuf, I like opening with uh, Blade Block and then going into the first cover. Just to set it up, to have it ready. And with this team, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be overlapping. We actually we're gonna be pushing off buffs pretty, pretty regularly. I didn't really think <laughs> before bringing this team. I just, you know, I thought of just winging it. If you missed my uh, Galuf Dimensions and Tier 9 uh, duo video with Rosa, go and check that out. It really shows how absurd the character is. But yeah, um, the one problem, well, not a problem, but the one issue I have with Galuf is that you still need to do to use his blade block twice before he begins he begins countering I guess that's um, that's Square Enix's way of uh, nerfing the character Yeah, it's gonna be easy 9 nines uh, with Gallows X as long as we have two targets. Um, it was my bad. I targeted the wrong, the wrong uh, enemy, so I broke them in the wrong way. That's something that you really need to pay attention with uh, AOE abilities that are alternating their brave hits. Like Cloud ZX, for example. There is no need to use uh, Cover Plus right now. Yeah, as you can see, Onion Knight is having a hard time hitting uh, 9, 9k with his attacks. Even though this is basically a mini boss and it's weak twice. 
which is really disheartening in my opinion for the character yeah we're gonna we're gonna do blade toilet on this guy just to chip on his hp a bit his ex does hit nine nines pretty pretty easily I'm not gonna deny that. I'm gonna use one of Penelope's abilities to guarantee having her EX the next turn. Oh. Is the 99k? There we go. I'm really interested to see how how hard the wall, the demon wall, is going to be uh, without um, having delays in my team. Because I'm not saying that I've seen videos of this fight, but all the videos that are popping up on YouTube is just you know Vayne, Aranea, Penelo, Leo, and you know those characters which is it can get pretty boring parallel hitting some right some nice numbers there how many turns is this for 100 turns I think we're gonna be okay I think we're gonna be okay. The one issue I have with Penelo is that she doesn't have an overflow aura. And saying this, I've just realized that I've, I, I just now use the second blade block. So I've missed a lot of counters. So don't do as I do. Because I usually just use the second blade, blo blade block immediately to get Galu starting. I want to kill them uh, together as as precisely as I can. Obviously, I know they're not gonna buff each other if they die, because they are not the same boss. But I like I like seeing them die at the same time. Okay, let the counters begin. Finally. <laughs> so the other reason I brought Donio Knight with me is to give that overflow uh, aura to Galuf for his counters. Right, so I'm gonna kill this one and then we're gonna counter Actually, he's using a magic attack. Never mind. Just want to mess my turns up. Right, it is. Oh, this is a really nice music. Now, let's see what this guy can do. <laughs> he looks pretty intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. 
But we have Kalu. We're gonna be okay. Yes, hitting 70k with his EX on a single target is really nice to look to look at. So I need to keep in mind that Penelo is getting a lot of insta turns, so I need to keep her cover in mind so it doesn't run out. I'm not sure how many magic attacks this boss has. Alright, let's get his uh, resistance down. I was thinking of using um, Haste from Mother, but I didn't want to reduce her uh, cover turns even more. I'm going to use another Blade Block here. We have the ability recovery as well. We are more than fine. The one I'm worried about of running out of skills is on your knight. Yeah, let's use Roomba here. Get that attack aura going. And next time we're gonna use cover plus with Galuf. Okay, we're gonna use Cover Plus to battery our team because he's gonna use his Rika's ability. So I'm not, I'm not sure how much that would heal. So I'm doing this just to be, just to be safe. Crash. Okay. Okay. I think if that had broken two of our team members, it would have probably killed as well. Some nice damage there from Galuf. Of course, he is boosted, but I think his damage is good even out of synergy. Oh, he does. He batteries himself. I didn't know that. And that's a slow turn rate, I guess. I want to reserve some of on your night skills. So we're going to have to use Meteorite here from him, with him. I really don't like that damage. I'm sorry, Iron Knight. So I'm really sorry, dude. I really like Galus HP plus by the way, the way it batteries the team after the attack. Okay, I'm gonna do this. See, he's having a hard time hitting nine knights with his uh, multi hit. Gonna do uh, Haste Roomba for the attack aura. 
and I'm thinking of calling it uh, out uh, Leo. Of course, I'm gonna replacing my onion knight. Probably should have gone into the summon phase. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna do that. Is the ninety nine K? Okay, with with Leo, I think the rotation is just bomb Master Blade. And as you know, his damage is just insane. We have a lot of skills left with Panello. I haven't used her a lot since her, he, since her release, and I have the problem of reserving her skills a bit too much, and that results in me having a lot of abilities at the end of the fight. So I just spam them at the end. Race through my for the attack because I noticed that Leo was not hitting uh, big numbers with his Master Blade without Penelo's attack. Now that this is much better, and he gets an Eastern turn rate. Okay, I was not expecting that. Gonna refresh blade block. We still have the ability recover by the way. I'm gonna do ninja to stay in ninja stance. Sorry, I'm gonna do HP I meant. My bad. Yeah, let's use it for the Added effect as well. Gonna do it to Blade Torrent. Uh, I'm gonna do Blizzard Compo into multi hit next turn. I'm gonna use Cover with Galuf. Gonna use haste into HP because we have we have the abilities. That's nice. I wonder how much this actually deals if you don't evade it. <laughs> I'm gonna do regen vault to regenerate everyone after the hit. Yeah, it's crush plus. And how much is that going to do? He actually missed Penelo. Lol. Yeah, we we are fine in terms of damage. Yeah, he's dead. I played this really badly, and I know that, but this was so, so easy. I'm not sure if the Leo support 
uh, had that much of an impact. Yeah, we were fine on turns. I think if I if I had brought someone more potent than Onion Knight, yeah, it would have been much much better. Uh, let me show you my artifacts really quickly. So this certainly didn't feel like a single target chaos fight because those are actually way beefier usually. I'm I'm still trying to get artifacts for Galuf and Leo and I'm I'm not having the best of luck. Right. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Uh I'm already working on my Fran and Ash should you invest videos while this one is uploading just so you know and i will be uploading them tomorrow so look forward to that uh, stay inside your houses stay awesome and i'll see you in the next video bye bye